Welcome back. So the users, they're not that fond of actually having true and false values thrown in their face. So let's, instead of using the true and false like we did here, we're actually going to try and make an if statement. Now, if statements is a way for us to actually test if a value is true, so meaning if there is an L in the word, do this. If the value is false, then don't do it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to use the variable that we just made above here, name contains L. We're going to use that inside the if statement. Now, if is another keyword that you can just go and look up if you want to dive more into it, um, that's up to you, whoops. Then we need the curly brackets to explain that here's where the if statement starts. And notice, compared to Java, they actually, they prefer in the .NET language or the c -sharp language to actually make a new line for each curly bracket. So we don't, in Java, you might see it like this, but in the c -sharp language, we want to use a new line. Up to you if you want to. You can also make your own naming convention. Get back to that later. So now we have, if this is true, what do we want to print? Well, if that is true, we want to contain, boop, your name contains L. That's a better user uh, message. Your name contains L. And let's actually do one more thing just to uh, the last part. Let's add that to the top. So it will say, Lars, your name contains L, if I write Lars. I'll press save and we'll try to run this again. And here it pops up, type your name, Lars. Hi Lars, it didn't print it. Did you guys see why? No? Because I said lowercase here, I didn't say uppercase, right? So I'll show you how this is done next time, but that's actually a proof that it actually works. So let's try and do it again with a lowercase l, like this. Hi Lars, your name contains l. We'll get into uh, how we can actually ask for both statements in a second. See you later, have fun.